This time of year, we always talk about new recruits coming into the organization, and uh, there's no better guy to talk about those new players coming into the Oilers franchise than Senior Director of Player Development, Rick Carrier. Rick, always good to catch up with you. Thank you for doing this. How you been? I've been good. Thanks for having me on the show. Exciting time for the Player Development Department these days, coming up with our, uh, our latest edition of our development camp. Rick, take us through development camp, because a couple of years ago it became rookie orientation camp and the focus seemed to have shifted from maybe less on ice to off ice and, and teaching these guys how to become adults. Uh, we're back to development camp now. So what are these guys going to see July 1st through 5? Well, we've kind of found a little niche here in Jasper that we like to go and set up shop and uh, run our camp out of, uh, out of Jasper. We stay at the Pine Bungalows there and then work out of the rink and they're pretty flexible with everything and very accommodating. So we've kind of gone back there. So a lot of it's on ice. There's a little bit of team building that goes on. Uh, we throw a little golf in there for the guys, have some fun. But the on ice is really the, is really the focus. And uh, the things that we work on there are uh, a lot of the principles, concepts that uh, Todd and his staff are, are implementing with the Oilers that uh, we're getting... Uh, some exposure uh, down into our, our development players. You guys are in touch with the prospects all year long. What's the feedback like from the guys after they go through a development camp with you? Well, I think they're all, it's all pretty positive. Uh, you know, they come in and this year, uh, for the first year, obviously we're going to be able to do all our fitness testing and all the medicals right in the uh, Oilers dressing room and uh, fitness area. So that's pretty exciting mm -hmm. for the players. And then uh, that's on uh, Saturday, on the 1st. And then uh, once the last guy finishes testing, we're going to uh, jump on the bus and uh, head for Jasper. Okay, uh, Billy Moore's Cup's always a part of it. What day is the Billy Moore's Cup? And uh, what should we expect to see in that, of course? Well, we're going to run the Billy Moore's Cup uh, on Wednesday evening uh, after supper. And uh, we also included a, a, a scrimmage early on in the week, too. So Monday is going to be a a day where we've added a scrimmage. You know, we bring in some of these uh, uh, nice uh, college free agent prospects and some junior prospects, and it's nice to give them an opportunity to uh, to maybe have some scrimmage time too. Not that it's an evaluation camp, but just to give everybody a better look at uh, some of these free agents. Okay, who are some of the highlights uh, in terms of players that we're going to see mm -hmm. Uh, at this year's camp, uh, I know Dylan Wells had a strong season in goal. Uh, we know Ethan Bear. Uh, any surprise guys that uh, people might be interested in that are coming in for camp? Well, the usual suspects. You know, we got you know Ethan Bear and yep. uh, Caleb Jones and William Lagason and and uh, this year uh, Ziet Pagan is going to join us. Okay, so he's Russia, coming yeah. over to over to stay. He finished the year up in Bakersfield, and so he's going to be available for development camp this year. And Again, when we go into Pentec into the rookie tournament, so pretty excited to to see Ziad here, um, you know. And then uh, you know we just it's always exciting with the new players, the new drafts. You know we're going to be in Chicago and meeting some of our our new additions and get welcoming them to the to the group and uh, talking to them a little bit about our development camp. Finally, Rick, I just want to ask: uh, once the camp concludes, the player development team, what do you guys do in terms of providing? Do you guys assemble and uh, share information and then feed that back to Peter Shirelli and uh, the hockey ops side. How does that kind of work out after all is said and done? Well, we get, we, the first bit of feedback that we always go through is a fitness testing result. Mm -hmm. So at some point you know, along that week, uh, every player is going to have a meeting with one of the strength coaches and we're going to go through some of the, uh, the highlights and maybe the lowlights and areas, of, uh, areas that need to improve. And so that's part of it. And then uh, on ice, we have exit meetings with all the players before yeah. they leave. And obviously, uh, the, the, the players that, that are our are, are property, we spend a little bit more time with them over the summer. We start talking about development pa plans and uh, putting together some uh, areas of growth and uh, you know, identify things that they might need to work on a little bit more. You know, we have David Pelche available all summer here, and some of the guys are going to be in training uh, you know, with Chad. And, uh, and with David throughout the course of the summer. Rico, always good to catch up with you. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me on again.